Okay then, in this video we'll continue our previous session. In the previous session we implemented this button, but we didn't add any functionality to this button. So let's add some functionality to this button. First of all, what we need is when we click on the button, it should turn red. And if we click one more time, it should come to this default state, which is white background. All right, so let's implement that. So, so for that, what we need is we need click event. So and for, for click event, we can use DOM event utility. So I will show that one first. So if we go to DOM event utility, so in here we have DOM event utility. So these are utilities that allow you to, uh, that allow you to, to achieve, that allows you to um, attach some kind of events, for instance, like click, double click, etc. So let's use this one. So, and in here we can add a listener to our previously created button. So the way you do it is you say l.dom event on and then HTML element, that would be our HTML element, and then string type. So that means um, the type of the event. So like like click or double click, etc., and then function, which is performed after this click. So I think now it's more understandable. So whenever there is a click, we wanna we want that function to turn our polygon to red color. All right, and also when it's red, it should allow us to draw uh, a polygon, and when it's white, like in this one, it should it should not let us to draw a polygon. So let's implement that. So right after this div.innerHTML, I'll say l.dom event and then on. And then if you remember, so the first one is HTML element, which is div, this one. All right. So then I want to say click because click is my uh, is an event. So then function e, and in here for now I'll just say console log e. So whenever there is an event, this click event, it should now print out this event. You see pointer event. So if I click, it's just printing out this event. This is awesome. That's what we need. So now what we need is we need to turn our button or change the background of the button to red. So how shall we do that? So if you remember. Um, previously, we used uh, we assigned a class called a draw polygon, so we can use this one. Actually, actually, I have a better idea. We can we can do it in a different way. So I will I will first implement that and then I will explain. So we'll just instead of draw polygon, we'll just create another class call it maybe draw active, and when when and um, when we user clicks on the button, our function, this function, will add that class to the button. And if the user clicks one more time, it will just remove it from that from that uh, button. So I will just uh, implement this, and I will explain it one more time. So I'll just say toggle draw uh, polygon button so then I will say div class list toggle so it's for toggling on and off I mean like switching on and off uh, switching on and off this class so this is a new class it will be just added when when the user clicks it will be added and to this div element and when it, when the user clicks one more time it's just uh, this function just removes it from that diff element so and when it's added we should say draw active and then background color background color red so let's implement and um, let's check this if um, if this one is functioning or no so now if we go to our application and if we click on this so if I click once it's just adding uh, a class 
So in here. So when 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 it's red, so that means we have draw active class, right? So when I just click one more time, it's gone. So now what we need to do is when this one is active, we want we wanna we wanna draw a polygon. So for that we can say if this one then we need to say hey if this one is correct or if this one is true perform something or perform draw polygon so how shall we do that so we previously used click event right so in here we have click event so for this one we can wrap wrap this uh my map on click event into uh in the uh in a function call a draw line like this draw line and then we can call this function okay so like this so we just say let's make a comment draw ah, sorry not line polygon function draw polygon let's write it polygon so draw polygon and in here we'll just call that function so I'll explain one more time so when this one has been added this one will be set to true so uh, let's check so console log this one so now let's check so I'll show you so when this one is active it, it prints out true so when it's de when it has been deactivated like this it just doesn't print because I'm inside if that's why so that means when it's active it's just calling this function all right so it's calling this function but we need to stop this right so at some point when when there is a double click right so it should stop drawing a, um, a polygon so for that what we need to do is we need to go to double click in here and right after this polygon set lat longs method we say my map off and then click so this one is opposite of on so my map on double click so that means my map off click so that means whenever there is a double click it just releases this click um, event which is this one okay so now let's check if everything is working or no hopefully it should so if I yeah so if I just click it's not drawing a polygon so if I click on this that means it's active now it's allowing me to draw so if I just double click so this one became red so that's good and it's not it's not uh, it's not letting me draw a geometry anymore but this one is still red right so it should go back to the previous state which is white so and we need to explicitly implement that so let's do that so that means whenever there is a double click it should just go to the previous color which is white so and the way we do it is by um, we'll just need to we just need to um, delete or remove a previously assigned class draw active class this one right so that means we first of all need to access our HTML element call it draw polygon this one and the way we do it is so we just say draw polygon button element and then document query selector and here it's a class call it draw polygon so and then so you can make this screen smaller so now what we can do is we can we can say if this one exists like this then we can use again DOM utility call it remove class so I'll show that so in the DOM utility 
Tom event. So I should go down. Tom utility. So there is a method called remove class. So remember Tom util uh, is a set of uh, utility functions that allows us, uh, you know, to um, to control or to manage uh, Dom elements. So in here we have remove class. So this one. So remove class. This it removes name from the elements class attribute. That's what we need. We can also use add class and etc. But I'm not sure if it if it has you know toggle one. So that's why I use traditional one. So class list. So um, so now we will use that l dot tom util and then we'll say remove class and in here we need to specify the class so that would be this and then we also need to specify so i mean we first need to specify html element and then um, the class which needs to be removed so and in my case it's draw active okay so now let's check so if we go back so if it's this one i'm just drawing and then if i double click yes so it's now turning white so that means it's good and now it's not drawing a polygon anymore but there is another problem so i click it on this uh, on this button now if i just click one more time you see it's starting draw it's uh, it has started drawing from this button because it thinks that I click it on this um, location and I would like to draw a polygon uh, around this area but that's not the case we don't want we don't want that behavior what we want is uh, what we want is whenever a user whenever a user clicks on these buttons or on these buttons it should not take it into account so it should not uh, start drawing from this point like this you see even if I just click on here so it's still drawing from that uh, from that location so it, it thinks that um, there is no button in here and it's ignoring this button so we don't want that we want just uh, stop that so how shall we stop that uh, behavior so for that there is a um, there is a method called stop propagation so we can use that one so right after this dom event on click we can say here l dot dom event and then stop pro Propagation. So let's check the spelling. Yeah, looks good. So now let's check. So this one is just uh, stops that you know, like it. So currently it ignores this button, but stop propagation makes sure that when you click on the polygon button, it doesn't take this into account. So it just uh, so it means you can, if you would like to draw around this area, you first need to pan around like this and then click on this area. Okay, so let's check. So if I just click here, here, looks fine. So now, if I just double click, it's turning blue. So if I click here again, and then you see it's starting from, 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 the, from the point I started. I mean, I click it, not from the polygon button. So and one more thing so if i just click and then if i just so i click it several times so I, uh, and then if i just click on this it's still allowing me to draw a polygon and that's a normal behavior because i think even in here in geojson.io so if you just click on this draw polygon and then you see it's drawing a polygon and if I just click one more time, you see nothing is happening. So you can, of course, make it in a different way. For instance, if it's uh, red and then if you if you are drawing a polygon and if you click on this button, you can cancel this out completely or you can just um, finish off this one. But that's up to you. 
as a developer you can do whatever you like so of course based on the requirements if it's a requirement you can implement that one as well but i think that's normal so you can just double click and then that's it so that means it allows you to finish finish off your previously initialized at polygon so i think everything is fine in here um so we did here quite a bit of work so mainly we use it this one l.control class we extended this one and again we use dom event dom utility so dom event so this is very handy so if you would like to for instance um attach or add some kind of event listener like click and etc to to for instance to your <clears throat> let's say you created a new uh, uh, control and you would like to assign some kind of event you can use this dom event um, utilities so and also this one dom util oops dom util this one is also very good and this one allows you to manage dom elements or html elements okay so i highly recommend you go through these you know functions one more time so and also i highly suggest you go through our code the one we implemented in this video and in the previous two videos i just highly recommend go through them and then just um try to maybe manipulate it just try to change something and etc so thank you and i will see you in the next video